What it do, kings and queens? It's your boy, the UP King, the people's champ, and we back with another video. And my eye looking like it's lazy or something. I don't know if I like that. Let's get let's get back to the video. Come on, come on, man. Focus, focus. We got a third gen Camaro sitting here. You see it outside of the paint booth. Oh, you look at that. You look in the background, you see the air holes on the floor. You know it ain't supposed to be there, but you see it there. So you know what we about to do. I mean, it's already plugged up. It's ready to go. You know we finna do a LVLP spray gun setup complete paint job. You see it. You, you see it. Man, let's get to it. Let's go. So we got the third gen Camaro. Ready to go, all primed up, and uh, taped up. Looks like it's ready for some color. That's what it's looking like. Looks like it's ready to be blessed. Hey, and, and this is gonna be an interesting, uh, interesting paint job, I believe. We're gonna find out some things in this one. We're going to see how, how, how good we can get. Because listen, we're using the spread LVLP 1.3 tip. As I show you the body of the Camaro. And we're going to find out if the spread can spray some Grant 7. Cause that's what we using for the clear today. We gonna use that Grant 7 Oh My Clear on this Gen 3 third gen Camaro. And we finna find out if, if, if the LVLP spray it can handle laying down some of that thick Oh My Clear. I hope it can, man. I don't, I don't really feel like getting in no type of trouble and making my job any any harder than it have to be. So I need this thing to be on point today. But enough of that talking. Let's get to some action. Oh, yeah. Listen, before we get started, before we go, let me tell you, th this is a two tone paint job, black and silver. Black on the top. Of course, you see the silver at the bottom. I just want to tell you that so you know what we're doing. Let's jump right into it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
All right, kings and queens, so we got the first base on, as you saw me spraying. And what I did was, I got right up on the top of that edge of that ground effect, or the kit, or the trim, whatever you want to call it. And I went above that, so where the black is going to be at, you see some silver, but we're going we gonna to cover that once we start laying that black base. But we got the first base on. Now what we can do, after we done let it dry, tape it off. Then after we get it taped off and masked up, we are going to spray our black. Then, after the black has been sprayed, we can clear it. After we take all the masking off, then we clear it. So let me get this thing masked up. And uh, get the spring. Okay, we all taped up now. Silver is taped up. And the whole car has been wiped down with the tack cloth. We had, you know, a little silver over the body. We don't want no little metal flakes in the black. The black probably would have covered it, but we ain't gonna take no chances. So we tacked the whole car. And now that we tacked the car, we are ready to go. So probably what I will do first is all my little primer spots. I'm gonna hit those with some black. After I hit those with some black, then we're gonna go over the whole car. Then once we got the whole car in black, we'll unmask it. And we're going to hit it with that old ma. See what that spread do with that good clear. All right, let's get to it.
Okay, got our spots uh, covered. Everything looking good so far. Real light coats, so you're still kind of transparent. You can see from, through them, so they're still transparent. But that's what we want. We don't want to put it on too heavy. You don't want to put the base on too heavy. Real light coats. It's a build-up process. We ain't got to slam the paint on. Thinking that it's going to get us any wetter than what it's going to be. Take your time and get it on. So now we're going to come back with uh, two coats of the black. Then we'll unmask everything as long as everything is uh, covered good, covered well in the black. Unmask it all. And we're going to clear. So let's get back to work.
All right, kings and queens, we got the base on, the black and the silver. As you saw, both of them sprayed. And I think we looking all right. I think I'm gonna give it one last tack before I get the land down this clear. And listen, I'm ready to, I'm ready to get this thing done, man. Be done and over with. I've been going at it for quite some time with this one. It ain't too bad, but sometimes you just be ready to go, but you got to get the job done. But it's looking good, coming together well. Had no issues peeling up the tape and the paper for the two-tone. Now it's time for that oh my. Now remember, this clear is a two to one mixture. Two to one mix ratio. Grant seven, oh my clear. We finna find out if the spread can handle, not just the spread, but the spread and the small compressor setup can handle some real deal, real deal clear. Come on now, we gotta, gotta be able to talk to the people. Get it together now. Real deal, clear, and if it can put it on without any issues and give us a great finish. So with that being said, let's get to work. All right, so we have our clear here that we're using, that Grant 7, oh my clear. This clear here mixes two to one, not four to one like some others. This one mixes two to one. So two parts of the clear, one part of the hardener or the catalyst, and that's how you get your mix. So find your two to one mix ratio, which we have right here. In my case, I will mix up to the seven or I will pour up to the seven, first seven in the first column, then take it to the second seven with the hardener or catalyst, whichever which you like to call it. And that'll be my mix. Then I can mix it all up real good, put it up in my paint gun and spray it. So now that we got that all figured out, Let's get back to work.
as you see, it's all painted. Got the clear on. And it's looking good. Now, you know we got some trash in it. But listen, if you got trash, you can always sand it, flow coat it, or if you know how to wet sand and polish, buff it all out, then it's not a big problem. But, but the ultimate goal is to get that finished. Now listen, I'm gonna be honest. The spray got the job done, but that that old my clear, it was a little tough on it. It was a little tough on it. It made it it made it difficult for the spray. I ain't gonna lie, but it it got the job done. The car looks good. I already know what this clear is all about, so I know if I polish it, it's gonna look even better. So we're going to unmask it and uh, let's see if we can take it outside and see what it's looking like outside. All right, kings and queens, we got this thing outside. Seems like it's always a lot of traffic when I bring it outside or bring anything outside or the wind is just going like crazy, but hopefully it's not too bad. What do you think? turned out pretty good. Now listen, the owner said the roof is broke or the sunroof which it just folds up, decided to put duct tape all over the roof to keep the sunroof closed. So you see the residue all over the sunroof. I'm gonna try to clean that up, get that up, get that up off of there and make this thing look a lot better. Now what he's gonna do after that, I don't know if he's gonna take it and get it fixed or what he's gonna do, but the duct tape, that ain't getting it. Gotta come up with something else. But all in all, let me know what you think. Jump in them comments, tell me what you think about the third gen Camaro with the two-tone paint job, along with the Grant 7 Oh My Clear. Simple, something simple, something easy. In my opinion, kind of boring. I'm doing so many black cars nowadays. It just, at this point, I just want to get them done and get them out the door. No real excitement to me, but hey, it's what the, it's what the people want. So that's what I give them. But listen, I ain't going to bore you been another long day so it's your boy the up king the people's champ and we out